Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. We get asked a lot, what are exosomes? And I'm going to clarify that, and I'll do it pretty quickly so you can get a good understanding of what they are in a very short period of time. All right? Now, everybody knows pretty much what stem cells are. If not, we produce them throughout life. We also get them from umbilical cord tissue. Um, and I'll write, I'll put a circle here for the cell and a little nucleus, okay? Now, what are exosomes? Exosomes are not cells. They do not have a nucleus, okay? They are byproducts of all types of cells in the body. And they, are, they show up in a lot of our bodily fluids. Lung fluid, saliva, urine, breast milk, semen, you name it, fill in the blank, okay? We don't care about all those for using them for treatment. We care about the ones that are byproducts of stem cells, okay? Those are the ones that have the growth factors, the cytokines, all the different nucleic acids and peptides that are going to help with whatever it is that you're dealing with, all right? So here's what happens. <clears throat> Inside a stem cell, you will get this soap bubble looking uh, circle, we'll call it. Inside that is an accumulation of what I just mentioned. Cytokines, growth factors, peptides, okay? Now, there's no chromatin, there's, it's not a cell. What will happen is these get released into the extracellular space, all right, by extravasation. Now, these exosomes, and I'm drawing them small because exosomes are a hundred times smaller than stem cells. So when we talk about giving you millions of stem cells for your therapy, we're talking about giving you billions of exosomes, okay? So when people say, oh, we're going to give you stem cells, there's plenty of exosomes inside of them. That is true, but we feel strongly that it's important for a lot of these IV therapies and things to give you both, okay? Now, how do the exosomes work? Oh, jeez. Okay. So, when these exosomes float throughout the body, could be in your bloodstream, they get attracted to cells in your body, not stem cells, Let's say this is a cartilage cell. I'm just picking a random. That have inflammation. All right? These exosomes get ingested. Another term would be eaten by the cell. And as they come in, they then release all of their contents. The payload, if you will. Okay? These cytokines and growth factors and peptides, you get the idea. They then say to the cell, you are sick. You need to repair yourself and regenerate. And here's the toolkit with which to do it. All right? So they're not actually doing the repair. They're providing the toolkit with which this cell is going to help repair itself. All right? So we see unbelievable results with the stem cells as a one-two punch. And why do I call it that? I'll finish up with this. Exosomes, well, from what we've seen, work quickly, okay? All right, so time of administration and effect. Effect, time. That is not the case with the stem cells. The stem cells work slower and longer, okay? So when you give the exosomes with the stem cells, you get the one-two punch. And a lot of times with the programs that we offer patients, there's no cost for the exosomes involved, okay? So that's what exosomes are. That's a little bit about how they work. They're very safe. They don't replicate. They don't form tumors, okay? We test them just like we do the stem cells for safety 
make sure there's no bacteria, virus, fungus, what have you. And they're very getting more and more popular, but we started that trend. <laughs> All right, visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. You can also call us at 844-GET-STEM to set up your free consultation. We have 40-some 40 th 40 centers in seven countries, so a lot of options most likely convenient to where you are. Thank you.